Hello and welcome to this tutorial on voxel meshes in Creator. I'm going to talk a little bit about what voxel meshes are, why you might want to use them and how to use them in Creator. So a voxel mesh is a, essentially it's a group of voxels that behaves like a single entity. The voxels can be any combination of different types or all the same type and they can be in any configuration. They could be big or small. You may have already experienced editing your voxels, um, editing a voxel mesh in Creator. If you've entered a, uh, a new game, you'll automatically have a default voxel mesh called Terrain added to the game. Here you can see my terrain in this game. This game is a racing game, so the idea is that you jump from um, asteroid to asteroid and eventually you end up at the finish line. This is a really good opportunity to use voxel meshes. As you can see, I've used them to create these little platforms separate from each other. If you were just using the one terrain voxel mesh, these would all need to be connected. To create a new voxel mesh, navigate to the voxel meshes section of the library. So that's using this drop down in the advanced mode or in basic mode, if I open the library, you can open it using the tab here. Once you're in the voxel meshes section of the library, you're gonna click create new asset. And I'm gonna create a flying source of voxel, me voxel mesh. So that's added the flying saucer voxel mesh to this uh, group of assets over here. So if I just click on that and add it to the scene, you'll see that it comes in as a single, single voxel just here. This is uh, what we're gonna build our voxel mesh on. It's a good idea with voxel meshes to work on them in some other location than your other ones. This is so that you avoid edit, accidentally editing your other voxel meshes. You can always move it to the desired location afterwards. Move it and rotate it and all that sort of thing. We'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm just gonna make this uh, single voxel into something resembling a flying saucer. So just place this on the top. It's another good idea to try and make sure that the block that comes in, this um, origin block, Try and make sure that that is in the center of your voxel mesh. This will make it much, much easier when you come to position and rotate your voxel meshes afterwards. So that's something like that. Just gonna make this flying saucer 35 by 35. Notice that when I resize it using these numbers, the origin location stays the same. Uh, oh, again. So moving it back over that origin block. that 35 by 35 and I'm just going to go to the voxel section of the library and I'm going to choose a metal for this flying saucer uh, I'm just going to create another one here and let's add a neon in between to give it that independent stay style flying saucer vibe go Okay, so I've made a voxel mesh, which is a flying saucer. Now that I've made it, you'll see that I can move it around really easily using the, um, the movement arrows. Um, just gonna make sure I delete that bottom there as well. So grab my voxel editing tool, just delete that voxel. Cool, there we go. So I'm gonna move it around so that the players can jump from this voxel mesh onto this one. So it's positioning it. I'm also going to rotate it a little bit. So that's too steep for me. In order to rotate it uh, at a less steep angle, I'm just going to turn off rotate snap, which gives me a little bit more fine grain control over my rotation here. You can also turn off grid snap on the positional tools, which means that you get that fine grain on positioning it as well. Okay. Now that I've made this voxel mesh, I can actually reuse it. So I've got one flying saucer, let's have another one. This one's gonna get the player to that location there. And actually, 
Let's create a bit of a situation where we've got a fleet of flying saucers so that it feels like this is all part of some kind of invasion, maybe. Perfect. Test it out. Can I make that jump? Yep. No. So a little bit of fine tuning to make sure that these jumps are possible. Just click on that voxel mesh and move it using the movement tools. So that definitely needed to come down some. And then this checkpoint, I can do the same. If two voxel meshes are overlapping, like they are here, you might see this glitching effect going on. This is because these voxels are in exactly the same position. They've both got that grid snap on, so they're in exactly the same location, which means they're fighting to be rendered on top of each other. An easy way to fix that is to just uncheck this grid snap and ever so slightly move the voxels either one way or the other. Just gonna move them up a little bit. It might mean that the voxels stand a little bit proud of the other voxels, but actually the effect is quite nice. And it means that that glitch error, that glitching um, effect doesn't occur. Let's just try this jump again. Okay, completely doable, he said. Okay, so, uh, so this, that's how we make voxels, uh, voxel meshes. Notice that if I make any edits to one of these voxel meshes, these flying saucers, it will impact all of them. Let me show you that working. So let's say, let's say I build a um, little dome on this. I mean, it's not going to be exact. But Just using the voxel tools to create a little dome. And then using these guiding lines to line it up, make sure it's exactly in the middle. So it's in the middle of that direction. It's in the middle of that direction. Perfect. So notice now that I've added this dome to this flying saucer, it's actually been added to all of the flying saucers. So if I edit one of those voxel meshes, it propagates to all of the other voxel meshes. This is only true with voxels. So if I was to add uh, something else to this, let's say I take a mesh and I add uh, an animal skeleton to the top of it. Notice that the animal skeleton only exists where I've placed it and it hasn't propagated. So these voxel meshes, they are only concerned with the configuration of voxels. They're not, um, they don't store any of the meshes that have been added, any scripts, sounds, they don't store any of that. For that, you need to use templates. So this is one example of how to use um, voxel meshes. Another example you can see, I've used a voxel mesh over here. So you can actually use voxel meshes in a really neat way to add a bit of drama by positioning them further and further away, which means that you can add a bit of a backdrop, your own backdrop to your games. So here I've got this space station. If I just position it over there, Rotate it a little bit. When I'm walking around, it adds a lot more drama to it, to the level. So it really starts to feel like I'm in space. So these, um, these, uh, th these voxel meshes out in the distance add like a neat parallaxing effect. Notice how the stuff in front of them is moving faster than them behind it when I move around, adds a lot of depth to the level. Another really fun thing we can do with voxel meshes, I've started over here. You can create your own level creation kit. So here I've got, um, if I'll show you my voxel meshes library again, here I've got a dome, which is this thing, and I've got a corridor, which is this thing. So 
by combining the domes and the corridors, I can start to build a bit of a bit of a network, a bit of a, a composite um, voxel mesh structure, which means that very, very quickly I can build almost like a level you can walk around in. Um, and it's a really good way of reusing the same asset in, a, in new ways and basically speeding up the level design and level development process. Another cool thing you can do with voxel meshes is you can create non-playable characters and points of interest. So let's say I wanted um, to talk to an alien. Here I've got an alien head. So I can just add that here and, and then I could add scripts to it and things like that so that the player can walk up to it and talk to it. And there you have it. I think that's all I need to talk about with voxel meshes. Um, like I said, you can use them to do lots of different things. They're really, really useful. Try and reuse them where you can and try and think about new and exciting ways to reuse the same voxel meshes. So here, this dome, for example, by having it chopped off slightly, looks very different from this dome, which is more seems more like a spaceship type thing. Let me know what you think. If you've got any more questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what you make with voxel meshes in Crater.